Hi folks, let's make a set of knife handles out of this G10 material. The tool to do this is pretty cool. It is tool number 46099, and it is a carbide tool specifically meant to cut G10 and fiberglass and other composites. Gnarly looking tool, right? You've got to be safe. Like I said, absolutely need to wear a respirator. You do not want to breathe this stuff in. And instead of facing the material down, I am using an adaptive to remove that excess material height. So let's talk speeds and feeds. First off, shout out to Sam over at Venom Defense and Design. He helped us out with some recipes because he machines a lot of carbon fiber and other composites. His recommendation, was 500 service feet per minute. And he actually recommended 2% of your tool diameter as your feed per tooth. So 0.25 inch tool times 2% is 5 thousandths of an inch per flute. I didn't know how to think about this tool in terms of the numbers of flutes, but that recipe came out to about 7,700 RPMs at 77 inches a minute. And I thought, let's start there, see how that runs, and it worked great. You can pretty much bury, in his words, uh, or take pretty big depths of cut and widths of cut. So we've got a 0.2 inch optimal load or width of cut and a quarter inch depth of cut. Tool's running great. It is a mess though. I was just trying to use the shop vac to avoid too much of it going out into the general machine area. You also don't want this stuff on your machine ways or gibs. If I did more of it, I would build a box enclosure, create an airflow draft to really better contain and evacuate this stuff. All that's left now for op one is to use a 2D adaptive to adaptive out and then contour out these four screw holes. Max RPMs for me here was about 300 surface feet or 9,200 RPMs, four thou per tooth, 0.0625 optimal load. This is pretty easy cutting. Similar adaptive with that same tools today tool, same speeds and feeds recipe. Again, what you want to look for is delamination. This stuff is a laminate, meaning it's just multiple, if not hundreds of layers of material that's adhered together. So when we cut it, we want it to not delaminate. And this did a great job. I think right when we poke through the end of this adaptive slot here, you'll see a little bit of tearing, but it didn't hurt anything whatsoever. And I actually was really happy with how the machining turned out. I gotta give a shout out to Pathpilot. It is awesome how it is able to parse through this G-coat. It's just amazing. It's sandpaper, a little soap and water, and the three-in-one oil it is, but it worked great. Uh, to me, they, they looked good. I was really happy with how they machined. Didn't look exactly like what I would think of as a finished knife handle product. Nevertheless, really happy with how the tool performed, happy with how the cam and the fixturing worked. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Take care.